Yo, what's up, Fortnite Focus fans? <sighs> hello, guys. This is literally my tenth attempt trying to make this video. And with that said, hello and welcome to today's guide. And since lately, a lot of people have been asking me for my Warzone settings on stream because I kind of got the sweet spot between having like a high refresh rate number and having like no actual disadvantage in terms of visuals. I thought, why may I not actually share them with you in a separate video? And yeah, as I mentioned before, English is not my native language. Don't expect Oxford English at all. I'm just trying to make it the best way possible. And yeah, without any further ado, I would say let's hop straight into today's topic. The first section, display, is kind of unique for anyone because I don't know what you guys are running. For me, it's 240 hertz, so just put in your refresh rate. Um, next on for the render resolution, um, if you're running like 1440p, 144 hertz. The easiest way to actually gain FPS if you can't achieve those 144 FPS with having like 1440p. The easiest way to actually achieve this is just turn the resolution down to 1080p. I wouldn't recommend you to go actually below 1080p because you're gonna have a visual disadvantage again. And I guess I'm just gonna put somewhere here in the video like my system spec so you can kind of orientate around. Okay, is my PC kind of in the same section? So yeah, you will like kind of see if the settings should be worth for you. Um, I'm running currently a GeForce RTX 2070 gigabyte OC, a Ryzen 7 3700X and like a 32 gigs of HyperX Predator RAM. Um, yeah, just mentioned. And yeah, next on with the aspect ratio, I actually keep this on automatic. This will work perfectly fine for you guys. V-Sync obviously we want to have disabled. Um, this does not affect G-Sync or FreeSync at all guys. Just leave it on disabled because you actually want to have the highest FPS possible and connect it to the sync, um, to vsync, actually the custom frame limit, put it on custom and just put the um, gameplay custom frame limit on the max, which is 300, you wanna have the highest FPS numbers possible. Um, if I would have like vsync turned on, my highest would be like 240 FPS, which I could reach. And yeah, in some areas, you might actually be able to get like more than 240 FPS, so just keep it on the max. Um, now moving on to the menu custom frame limit. This is actually um, personal preference. You don't need this, but since I'm used to 240 hertz, I basically just um, I obviously just turned it to 300 because it feels kind of odd and weird if the menu is like 60 hertz. I don't know. Just personal preference. Out of focus custom frame limit is totally unnecessary. This is just when your game is basically in um, win uh, like um, in this in the taskbar. <laughs> I don't know how to say it right now, guys. It's early in the morning. If your game is like minimized, so it doesn't matter at all, just leave it on 30. You could even turn this, I guess, on one FPS. It's just when the game is running in the background, so it doesn't take any hardware load. Um, yeah, next, moving on with NVIDIA highlights. If you guys are running an NVIDIA card and you're planning on having this enabled, I would actually recommend you turn this on disabled because it's gonna take a huge chunk of your in-game performance. You have to think of this program is running constantly in the background and it's just taking your hardware power. Like, why would you want that? Obviously, yeah, when you're trying to go for clips, keep it on enabled, but if you want to stream at the same time, it can get kind of harsh to get like high FPS with that turned on. So next on the display gamma, just leave it on default. It's just a visual setting. I don't know, maybe you want to have the second one. I don't even know what those do. Like, I just keep it in general on default, I would say. It doesn't mess around with your FPS at all. So next, moving on with details and textures, guys texture resolution this is the only setting where i would actually recommend you leave it on high because since in a lot of games when you put the texture resolution um below high the objects are just gonna look kind of weird and odd in the in the distance and you want to be able to clearly see the difference between like an enemy and like a bush or i i don't know i don't know how to explain it guys you have to look for itself uh, in your game and just like see it for yourself basically said and i would always recommend you keep this on high if it's possible for you um, texture, filter, antistrophic, leave this on low since, I don't know, Warzone is kind of a fast-paced shooter. It is a fast-paced shooter indeed. Uh, you won't be able to actually pay attention to the ground, I think, in a fight. So why should you leave that on, um, I don't know, higher or max? So yeah, just turn it on low. This is a free FPS boost. Particle quality, bullet impact sprays and tessellation. You could actually leave all of those on low or disabled since it's just visuals. And actually leaving your particle quality on low will give you just benefits because smokes after explosions are not gonna be as detailed and it's gonna be easier to spot enemies afterwards. Um, in my case, I left bullet impact sprays actually enabled because for me it kind of adds up the atmosphere. The same with tessellation. This one I just left basically on near because um, 
yeah in favor of the viewers i'm streaming this game um a lot and yeah that's why i keep it on near you can definitely turn this on disabled and just gain free fps basically next moving on with the shadow and lightning guys the shadow map resolution i would definitely 100 recommend you put this on low you won't really notice the difference but your fps will 100 percent keep this on low Cache spot shadows, cache sun shadows, particle lightning. You can leave all three of those on disabled and low. This is all just visuals again and you're just gonna benefit with actually having it on low as I mentioned before. Um, DirectX ray tracing, if you're running an RTX card, make sure to leave this on disabled. RTX is just so fucking power hungry. It's gonna destroy your game. It's gonna destroy your FPS. <laughs> I don't know. With RTX I maybe get like 70 FPS and without I get like an average of like 150, 160 I don't know, something like that. Um, ambient occlusion and screen space reflections, just keep this on disabled. This doesn't add anything. You won't have any benefit in an actual 1v1. Keep it on disabled. Again, free FPS boost. So, post processing effects. Here is where it gets interesting. I would say at least turn some kind of anti aliasing on since Warzone does have a really large map and like fights over 150 meters are not as unusual. So actually keep this on so like in the background you don't have like any object flickering or something in the background. You just want to leave this on so yeah you have a nice sharp image, a nice sharp scenery, you can perfectly see enemies basically. Um, next on, depth of feel, world motion blur and weapon motion blur. I actually don't know why would you want to have this turned on since why would you want to have a washed and blurry image, anything what is like outside of your ADS like it doesn't add up for me. This is personal preference, I guess, but if you want to have like a nice, sharp, clean scenery, just turn this on disabled. Like, why, why would you want to have like a washed image? I, I don't get it. Filmic strength and film grain, just keep it on default or you're gonna mess around with your color vibrance and you don't want that as well. And yeah, guys, those are basically all my settings. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you now some gameplay, how the game is running. If you're running like a mid-end system, I would at least recommend you leave texture resolution on medium or it's gonna make the overall quality really worse and yeah since this is a guide to get like the perfect settings the perfect sweet spot i recommended you to put it on high and the rest like here as mentioned and yeah those are the best competitive settings for warzone in my opinion i would say and yeah see you guys in the next video and i'm just gonna show you some gameplay and yeah just you can see how the game runs and how it looks Safe zone. Watch for enemy. 